Hello, hello. I am excited because we have a strength workout today, utilizing dumbbells. You know that I love lifting weights, but I also think that there are phases with exercise. So there are some days where I genuinely do not feel good doing something more like Pilates or yoga. It feels so much better for my body. So I'm going to incorporate weights today. You also need a resistance band. We are mostly working upper body today. That includes chest, shoulders, biceps, back. You will be getting a lot of strength in, in this routine. So grab a few different dumbbells so you can change out your weights as needed. And I also want you to grab a resistance band to start off. You're gonna start in a standing position. Arms are straight out in front of you. Roll the shoulders down and back so that you are creating space between your shoulder and your ears. I want you to zip up your core so that you're not pressing your hips forward during this exercise. Nice, soft bend in the knees. You're gonna take this resistance band. You're gonna pull it apart using your back. I want you to imagine that your shoulder blades, between them, you are cracking a nut or pinching a pen. This movement is done using your back, not your biceps to separate the band. Great job. Four, three, two, and one. Grab that band a little farther apart. We're going to take those arms overhead, bringing that band behind you, opening up your chest and shoulders, and then back in front. I love doing this exercise. If you have a desk job, if you are standing, if you're on a computer all day driving in a car, this is going to feel so good to open up your chest and shoulders. You can also use the handle of a broom if needed, if you don't have a resistance band. Take that resistance band in front. Make sure you don't hit yourself in the face. If you have handles, bring it around and down. Keep your core tight. Keep resistance on that band, so keep pulling it apart. Again, you're opening up your chest and shoulders. You can use a resistance band or you can use the handle of a broom swiffer. I have plenty of clients that I tell them to grab their broom to do this exercise. It always feels so nice. One more. Beautiful. I want you to take your palms, place them up towards the ceiling, grab your band a little bit closer, squeeze your elbows in towards your rib cage. We're going to externally rotate from your elbows. So palms are facing towards the ceiling. You're pulling that band apart, but your elbows are staying glued to your rib cage. Again, you want to squeeze from your back while you are doing this exercise. Okay, keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight. You can stay forward. I just wanted to show you from different angles. Keep those elbows pulled in. Three, two, and one. Excellent. That resistance band can be placed off to the side. I want you to start at the very edge of your mat. Take those hands up overhead. Big stretch here. Bring them down towards the mat, slowly roll down. One vertebrae at a time, walk it out into that high plank position where your wrists are directly under your shoulders. You're gonna shift back in this plank, shooting your hips towards the ceiling. Your right hand is gonna come reach towards your left knee, shin or ankle, whatever you can reach, and then you're gonna shift back to a plank. If that is too challenging, I want you to just hold a plank position. You're going to alternate sides, shifting back, lifting those hips high, starting to stretch out through your entire posterior chain, which is your back, really stretching through those arms, keeping your core strong. Shoulders are working as well. Two, one more each side, one, and one good set those knees down rest into child's pose stretch everything out take a second here beautiful all right i am going to get you started on your back so we're going to start off a little lighter we're going to work our way a little bit heavier we're going to be changing weights out this is your workout so i want you to pick weights that work best for you 
I'm not going to tell you the weights that I'm using. I don't want you to compare yourself to me, so I don't feel like that's important. You're probably going to see them written on there. But again, this is for you. So I want you to pick weights that you are going to feel best with. We're going to start with a chest press. So for a chest press, I want you to think of your elbows as the bottom of an arrow and your head the top of an arrow. So essentially, your body is creating that V position. So your hands are slightly facing in towards one another. When you press, you're going to press those dumbbells so that your palms are facing towards your knees. So there's a little bit of a rotation going on with your arm when you're doing that. Now, that's just how your arms are working. From a lower body standpoint, I want your glutes to be active during this exercise and your core to be working. So your hips are going to be elevated the entire time. Think about squeezing your butt. Elbows are on that 45. You are pressing up, palms face your ceiling. Elbows come all the way back to the ground. Keep those hips up, keep pressing. We're gonna do a decent amount of these. So pick a weight that you can get through all of the reps. Change it out if needed. If it's too heavy to start, that is okay. Grab something a little bit lighter. Whew, hips are staying up. Great work. You've got it. 10 more. 10. Whew. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring those weights down. Bring those hips down. Feel free to set the weights down. We're going to come into a seated position. You're going to extend those legs out nice and long. I want those toes pointed so that you have long dancer legs. You are zipping up your core, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to go into a seated shoulder press and I want you to watch form first. You're going to roll your shoulders down and back. Very similar to your chest press. Your elbows are out on that 45 degree angle. So if you extend those arms out and then bend those palms in towards you, that's going to be that starting position for this shoulder press. Your arms are not directly out to the side. Okay. I want them slightly tucked in. You likely will need to go down a little bit on weight here because I have you seated on the ground. I want you to keep that core zipped up so that you're activating through your center. You shouldn't be rounding as you push forward, okay? So if you need to go down in weight, go ahead and grab it. Bring those weights up to your shoulders, elbows on that 45, keep that belly button plugged in, press up overhead, palms will rotate forward and then come back down to your shoulders. Ready? We have 15. One, two, chest stays lifted, three, four, five, six, seven, you're doing great, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two and one great job set those weights down you're going to come all the way back down onto your back one vertebrae at a time swap out the weights if needed this time we're going to go into a chest fly and we're going to keep your hips on the ground so this is all in the arms you will have those dumbbells straight over your chest you're going to have a slight bend in the elbow as you bring those weights out to the side to pull back in Make sure when you bring them out to the side, you're not arching as you pull them out to the side. I want you to keep an active core, so keep that belly button plugged in. You want to support your center and not be stressing your center. So pick a weight that you are comfortable with. Palms will face one another. Bring those arms straight above your chest. Plug in that core. Activate that center. Soft bend in the elbows. You are pulling out to the side and like you are hugging a tree back to center. Out to the side and back to center. Exhale as you pull those weights together. Inhale as you come down. Use your breath to get through this exercise. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, you're doing amazing, two, and one. Awesome. Bring those weights down. I want you to set one weight off to the side. You just need one dumbbell for the next exercise, which is going to be an overhead pullover. So adjust as needed. Feel free to watch me first. You're going to bring those arms straight above your chest. You are grabbing onto each side of the dumbbell. Shoulders are relaxed down. One leg at a time, you're going to bring your legs up 90 degrees. This is your starting position. Arms are going to work first. They're going overhead. You're going to pull the dumbbell back over your chest. Once it gets over your chest, your heels both at the same time are going to drop down towards the mat and then pull back up. So we're doing weight at the top, pull it over, and then core on the second part of this exercise. Ready? We have 10 together. Plug that core in. If you can't get those toes all the way to the ground, that's fine. Just go a little bit and then pull back in. Ready? Reach it behind. Big pull over and toe taps. Beautiful. Reach behind. Pull it over. Toe taps. Exhale on that pull and toe tap. You're doing great. Six more. Slow and controlled is key on these. This is a tough one. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Two. Last one and toe tap. Beautiful. Set the weight down. We're going to go back through these four. So we're going to go back to your chest press. Grab the dumbbells. Adjust if you need to. Lift those hips up towards the ceiling. You're pressing both together. Elbows come down. Hips are staying up the entire time. Exhale, press. Inhale, down. Exhale, press. Inhale down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Keep those hips up. Three. Two. And one. All the way down. Hips down as well. Roll yourself up like a ball. Bring those legs into that long seated position. Adjust your dumbbells if needed. We're going into that seated shoulder press. Zipping up that core, you do have 15 again. 45 degree angle, press up and together and then back down. Press it up and back down. These exercises really are going to challenge your core because you are seated on the ground because we're not doing anything besides isolating these muscles so you're going to feel, especially in this one, your core working really hard to stabilize you. Seven more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Bring those weights down. Slowly lower yourself back down. You're going to go into your chest fly. So grab the dumbbells that you're comfortable with. Hips are staying down on the ground on these. You're going to press both arms up, starting above your chest. Palms face one another. Slight bend in the elbows. You are pulling out to the side and back in. Out to the side, back in. Again, make sure that you're stabilizing through your center. You don't want to press your core up towards the ceiling. You also don't want to stress your low back. Four more. You're doing amazing. Four. Three. Two. 
and one excellent feel free to keep one dumbbell set the other one off to the side we're going into that dumbbell pullover heel drops again you don't have to drop all the way to the ground if you're noticing that that's causing any arching in your low back just slowly move the legs away and then pull them back to center one leg at a time bring them up 90 degrees start with that pullover first inhale as you come down exhale as you pull that weight back over toe tap back to center this one is all about control Great job. Two more right here. Last one. Beautiful. Bring that weight down. We're going to break this up with a little bit of core. I want you to extend those legs nice and long. Bring your right arm overhead, left foot is nice and long. You're gonna reach your hand to your toe, crunch it up and back down. Reach and back down. Eight more, eight, seven, fully lengthen, six, five, four, three, two, and one beautiful swap that hand out fully extend that leg reach for that toe 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one beautiful hug your knees in and give your back a little bit of a stretch and a break here when you're ready roll it onto one side and flip it over grab a medium sized weight for this next one we're going to go into a plank row so we're going to start to work those back muscles a little bit more so I am going to use 10 pound dumbbells for this. For me, that's more of a medium weight. I also like because I can get my wrists under it. Sometimes if I am using a five, I feel like my knuckles press against the ground and I want to avoid that. So figure out a weight that works best for you. You can use one dumbbell and switch it between the arms or you can have your hands on both. Again, this is your routine, so I wanna make sure that it's going to work for you. If you can hold on to each dumbbell, you are going to set those dumbbells directly under your shoulders. You're gonna bring yourself back into a hand plank. Make sure that those wrists are neutral. We don't wanna to put too much pressure on your wrists. If you have bad wrists, put the weight to the side of your hands and just come up in that side plank. Your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder and hip distance apart so that you can stay strong and steady in this plank. You're gonna bring the dumbbell to your hip pulling it back and then setting it down i am going to have you alternate sides if you can here big strong pull back down pull back down you've got this try to keep those hips as steady as possible keep that belly button and that core pulled in two more each side great job one more each side beautiful rest those knees down just want you to set the weights off to the side for a quick second extend your right leg back behind you dancer's toe so really elongate through that toe extend your opposite hand so for me that's my left hand out because it's my right leg back you might be doing the other side that is okay palm is facing into the midline of the body that means your thumb is up towards the ceiling you're zipping up your core you're keeping a nice flat back you're going to lift up towards the ceiling and back down. We're working all of those extensor muscles in your back right now while also stabilizing through your center. Great job. Six, five, four, three, two, 
five, four, three, two. I want you to hold this one up. You're gonna bring the arm and the leg away from the body and then back to center, away, back to center. Five, four, three. This is awesome for posture, two, and one, good, rest. Switch the leg and the hand out, lift and lower, zip up that core towards the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, slide away back to center, away, back to center. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Sit back into a child's pose to stretch out your back. We're going to stay on the ground. I want you to go back to using that resistance band that we started with. So grab that resistance band. If it's long like mine, you can double it up or you can just have it open. Choice is yours, whatever you are most comfortable with. You are going back down on your stomach. I want those arms extended out in front of you. Legs are nice and long. Arms are out in that V. You're gonna lift your upper body and lower body off the ground. You're lifting up, pull that band apart, and then set it back down. Up, pull the band apart, good, set it down. Three more, up, two, one more, big squeeze, and one, excellent. Push back into child's pose, stretch out that back. We don't wanna cause a little too much discomfort to your back extensors. So we wanna be mindful on how much extension that you are doing that we're not stressing the low back. So you always wanna stretch it out after. Beautiful. All right. We're gonna come up to a standing position. I'm gonna bring my, my weights a little bit lighter. We are going into a little bit more shoulder work here. Standing position, I want you to have a soft bend in your elbows. That means palms are gonna start facing one another. Standing up nice and tall, not moving around throughout the room. We're gonna lift those elbows to the side for a bent lateral raise and back down. Up and back down. Keep that core zipped up. All shoulders here, baby. Great job, six more, six. Five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Excellent. Rotate those palms forward. Take this into bicep curls. I know this is going to feel a little bit light for bicep curls. Trust. Trust where I'm going with everything. That way you're not switching out your weights too much. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Keep those same weights in hand. One, I'm turning to the side so you can see me. Your palms are still up. We're going to take those arms. We're going to rotate them up to that bent lateral raise and then tuck them back under for biceps. I said trust. Yeah, zip up that core. Rotate, lift, and back in. Rotate, lift, and back in. You've got this. Six, five, four, three, two. Keep a strong center. And one. Excellent. We're going to go into hammer curls. We're going to alternate these. Up, up, up. Try not to swing it too far back behind you. Keep that core nice and strong. One at a time, isolating each side. Just 
strong center. This is a breather exercise, as I like to call these, the easy ones where you can catch your breath. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we get to work the shoulders, we get to work the back. So palms are going to face one another. You're gonna go into a front raise. It's gonna be a front raise with a pull. So if you wanna watch me first, you can do that. Palms face towards the ground. You lift up, front raise. You pull back towards your shoulders. Okay, you're squeezing your back muscles. You extend out, you set the weights down. What I don't wanna see is that you're using your hips, okay? And you're pressing through your hips. Keep your center strong and steady. Up, pull, press, down, okay? We have eight of them, let's go. Up, pull, press, down, up, pull, press, down, up, pull, press, down, up, pull, press. You are halfway, four, three, you feeling it? Two, one more, up, pull, press, down. Great job. I want you to hinge it forward. We're gonna take this into triceps. So we're gonna pull those weights up next to your chest. Elbows are squeezing back next to your rib cage. Extend back, tuck in. Work the back of the arms here. You really wanna feel those triceps working to support you. Good work. Strong center, core is engaged. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. We're gonna end with a little bit of a swing. So it's gonna be an overhead movement as well. You can use both dumbbells. I'm gonna swap out for one dumbbell because I like to use one dumbbell. I think that's easier to hold. But feel free if you wanna keep two lighter dumbbells, you can absolutely do that as well. I'm gonna hold the center of the dumbbell. Now I'm gonna go into an overhead swing. So it's gonna be a combination of a squat to a swing. So it's not a hinge pattern. We're not gonna hit your low back on this. I want you to think about core and shoulders. So I'm holding the center of that dumbbell. I'm gonna squat it down, torso stays tall. I'm gonna swing my arms up overhead. They stop straight overhead, and then I'm coming back down. Squat, swing it up. Squat, swing it up. Core is tight, especially on the way up. That's that stopping motion for you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Set that weight down. Take your right arm, cross it over the body. Stretch out that arm. Nice work today. Take that hand behind your head. Stretch out that tricep. Great postural exercises. Switch it out. We hit the shoulders, back biceps, triceps, chest. We got a little bit of everything in there, plus some core. Good. Take those hands behind your back. Push that chest forward. Open everything up. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know if you like these strength workouts so I can record more of them for you. You know I love my weights, so I have no problem recording more for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you again tomorrow.